hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Tess and in this channel I share all about my experiences living and studying abroad so in today's video I'm gonna be talking to you guys about scholarships in Italy step-by-step -step process the documents and all the information you need to know about the Italian uh, scholarship so let's get right into the video so uh, I have my notes down here just for me not to forget anything because this is a very important process if you want to apply for scholarships in Italy. So if you see me looking down, just know that I'm looking at my notes. So um, first of all, uh, let's first talk about the Italian scholarships. So um, the Italian government offers scholarships or grants every year uh, to the universities so there is usually scholarship boards in every region that do offer these scholarships or these grants so um these grants are usually offered to international students and to italian students as well so you really do stand a chance of getting uh this scholarship because uh, italians are pretty generous with this scholarship even to international students especially when you come from low income countries low background families they are really really um uh, like i can say you stand a really better chance of getting these scholarships but you need to apply within the right time and you need the right kind of documents in order for you to stand a better chance of getting these scholarships so um the first thing is uh, you need to know that admission into the university is different from application of your scholarship so these are two different ap applications so you do not need to mix them together because the scholarship board is a different is different from the university so you need to be very very careful not think that these are t the same applications these are two different ap applications and you need two different kind of documents for these two applications so that's another thing then uh, so you need to know whether you're applying for the bachelor course the master's course uh, or the PhD so depending on what you're enrolling into the university then you apply through that to the scholarship so now let's first uh, talk about uh, now the application process so when you gain admission into the university you need to check the region which the university is in because every region in, in Italy has a different scholarship board so and these uh, uh, scholarships vary so you could find that what one scholarship board in probably Milan is asking is different from what Rome is asking for so you need to do your research and see what exactly the scholarship board in that particular place or particular university is asking for but generally there are these uh, important documents that are overall Italian scholarship boards usually ask for but it may differ like based on probably what they're asking for the dates in which they're asking for so you have to uh, do your research and communicate with the school or the scholarship board to know exactly what documents you need so now let's see what documents you need so first you need a family declaration income so this states like um how much you are earning, how much your family earns, and also it can compose of all the family members in your household, whatever they are earning, and whatever income they are earning, and like a general income of every uh, of the overall year. So depending on what year the scholarship will be asking for, then you need bank statements. So uh, another thing also I wanted to state is that Italian law changes every time. So you have to be very careful and know when uh, they are asking or whatever they are asking for within that year. So in my time when I applied, they just needed the family declaration form. They did not ask for bank statements, they did not ask for uh, family assets, all these things. They really uh, did not ask for that. I just applied with family uh, declaration form and that is it but now I have seen with the updated information they are requiring that you also do present a bank statement um, with uh, a statement of the year within which they will be asking for so for example if you're applying for grant of 2021 probably they will ask for a bank statement of the year 2019 or 2020 so it does depend then also they ask for property and asset certificate so 
whatever assets your family is having uh whether you are living in a rented house and also they'll be asking for like um the square meters of the house you're living in so that is also another important document so after you have these documents you have to translate these documents so Italians do not accept anything in English or in another language they only need documents in Italian then after you've translated these documents you need to do um, the legalization of these documents so if you are in your country you need to go to the Italian embassy in your country and legalize these documents then after after I think uh, you have to check the online application of the scholarship when they open and now you can do your online application of um, online application so I think before you legalize the you can just apply uh, with the translated documents but when you are coming to Italy you have to remember that these documents have to be legalized because if the documents are not legalized then again they will not accept them so now if you come probably to Italy without the legalized documents you can go to what they call prefettura in Italy and legalize the documents so you can either legalize the documents in um, the Italian embassy in your country or if you come to Italy you go to what they call prefettura and uh, they legalize the documents there so now after you've done your online applications and you by chance are lucky to get the scholarships remember that you need to come with these documents to Italy and you need to present these physical documents to the uh, scholarship office normally they require the physical documents once you arrive in Italy to present them so um, that is how this thing goes by so I go over this uh, process again so you need to check uh, based on where you've gained your admission the university where you've gained your admission you need to check about the scholarship in that particular university see the region which this university is in go to their website see the required documents so after you've seen their documents and also the application process the deadlines or when the applications are open uh, you make these documents then after you have to translate these documents do your online application then uh, you have to make sure that these documents are legalized so the documents can be legalized in um, the Italian embassy in your country or you can come to Italy and go to a place or an office called Prefettura and this is where you can legalize these documents so also based on where the university is sometimes they can ask you to go to a place called CAF and make what they call EASE so where uh, I studied my university where I graduated in previously they did ask for EASE so with that family income document you go to the office called CAF and you can make the EASE but that is after you arrive in Italy so um, uh, important thing you need to know is that you need to know the exact year uh, they're asking for like the document year in which they're asking for so for example if you're applying for a grant of 2021 they can ask for documents for the previous two years for example they can ask for documents for 2019 or 2018 so you need to be very careful with uh the time uh, which or the dates which they ask because you can miss your scholarship just because of the dates then another thing also you need to make sure the documents are well translated and legalized because Italians don't accept anything uh, that is not in Italian so uh, make sure that they are translated and legalized and they are written correctly because you can also miss your scholarship just because of a single statement or something that is a miss in your document so these are very very important points that you need to uh, take into consideration when you are applying for the scholarship so I hope this information was helpful guys I don't want to make this video too long and I'll do more videos detailed information and if you have any questions you can leave them in the description box I will answer to you guys so I'll see you guys in my next video uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share this video see you in the next one bye guys